Another right oh, hand. Oh, big another. shot. Wilkinson pounding away with the right hand. Referee seen enough. The first half of the 2022 PFL regular season is in the books. With it came some skilled submissions. Locked in, squeezing, and there's the tap, Rory McDonald with a quick six points. A couple of vicious KOs. And another, Ahmedov pouring it on early. Pesta dives down to the oh, right boy. Hand. Oh, Turns boy. out the light shot. Omari Ahmedov shuts it down. And a handful of razor close split decisions, which ultimately began to paint the playoff picture. But time is running out to clinch playoff spots. Only the top four will move on, so everyone will be fighting for a first round finish and the highly coveted Quick Six. Fanta pounding away on the side of Jamal oh Jones' goodness. head. First round finish. Hello, Fight Fans. I'm Sean O'Connell, and this is PFL Focus, where we analyze standings and scenarios heading into our fight nights. It is time for your main event. This week, we'll be looking at two 2021 PFL champions in Antonio Carlos Jr. and Haush Manfio. Plus, we'll talk about Jeremy Stevens and his playoff hopes. Round one, shoe face, Antonio Carlos Jr., the man with the best nickname in all of mixed martial arts, and the man currently looking to win back-to-back -back championships in the PFL's light heavyweight division. Coming off a quick six-point victory in the first half of the season, his 11th career submission win, this jiu-jitsu black belt sits atop the standings. But in a light heavyweight division that sees a lot of finishes, nobody can get complacent. This matchup is a tough test against Challenger Series contract winner, Brucey Soto. A win gets Shoeface into the playoffs, and an early finish would put him in the mix for the number one seed. Stars, put it on tight. 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 Grabs on tight. tight, squeezes very tight, tight. Wow. Wow. 28 seconds into the first oh. round, Shoeface once again. Wow. <laughs> round two, Haush, Warhorse, Manfield the man who went from alternate to champion last year. This year he's looking to repeat and he started off with a bang. Oh, oh, wow! Huge right, right hand! Field. Big right hand! And that'll do wow. it! A comeback wow. for Manfio! Oh. Four points did have Manfio sitting in first place, but that was prior to Anthony Pettis' quick six at PFL 3. And there's, there's the tap! Anthony Showtime Pettis! Six point submission victory! Good enough for first place in the lightweight standings. So currently in second place, Manfio now faces another major contender in the Canadian gangster, Olivier Albin Mercier. If Manfio wins, he clinches a playoff spot. Well, a loss could leave him outside the playoff picture. The Warhorse has won five straight. All is the underdog, so he's no stranger to the pressure. Round three, Jeremy Stevens. Scored the bout 30 27 for your winner by unanimous decision, earning three points in the lightweight division. Clay Collard! Although Lil Heathen did not get the decision over Clay Collard in the main event at PFL 1, Stevens put on an unforgettable show. It's going to be touted as one of the best debut outings in PFL history, landing more than 130 total strikes. Stevens proved that he is still a force to be reckoned with. However, to make the playoffs, this veteran now needs a finish. Stevens has 19 career knockouts. Can he get his 20th with his playoff hopes on the line? That's it. You know, I'm, I'm here to kill. I'm here to come at this guy a, a thousand percent. Lightweights and light heavyweights take to the smart cage at PFL 4 with playoff spots at stake. Win and move on or lose and go home. Friday, June 17th on ESPN and ESPN+. Plus. I'm Sean O'Connell. This has been PFL Focus.